What's up, guys? Um, back at it with some more Kenshi. Um, as you know, last episode didn't end super well for us. All right, fingers crossed we can somehow win this. <laughs> yeah, boy. Where the hell is Art? Ooh. We got really, really stomped by some, uh, I think it was Band of Brothers, basically some just exiles. So that wasn't great for us. Um, in this episode, I think what I'm going to do is first thing, I have Delta running across the border zone, or yeah, the border zone right now. Right around over here somewhere, there's a way station with a skeleton bed, and the first thing we need to do is we really need to get him healed up. It's not cheap, it's like 2k to use it, but once we use it, we're good. Also, uh, Sendo currently is researching we are looking up training swords. We have downloaded two new mods. The first one is the sparring mod. I think it's sparring tutorial or something like that. Or sparring training. You go to your uh, squad menu and then you would disband a guy. And after you disband them, you have another one of your characters ask that character to spar with them. So I think it's a pretty interesting mod. I like the idea of using the your squad to train each other. I think that makes sense. I think that would kind of fall in line for something that's very Kenshi-esque, just like you and your your squad mates just training with each other. Uh, I've also decreased the graphics to, I think, just high. I had it at, like, extremely high, which I don't know who I was fooling there. That was a crazy idea. And I increased the render distance to large so we could see bigger chunks at once. Uh, the rest of the squad is kind of just hanging out here, uh, trying their best to regen some of this lost health. Again, we really got stomped out at the end of the last recording. Okay. Oh, perfect. It's 2,000, but very much worth it because now we're going to get all of these stats back up. Now let's check in on Sendo here. Yeah, as I say, he's probably done with the uh, waiting on stuff to research. So let's send him over to the bar. Again, we're kind of looking for a cheap $2,000 guy who can just work around the base for us. Okay, there are way more people here than there were last time. I um, also don't really want a soldier, because I don't think he would be worth what we want them for, which is primarily, like, building. Ooh, but there is this guy. Ugh, 4500 That's not... That's not what we were looking for. That's a little too expensive still. Alright, so Art has a ton of skeleton repair kits that we got off of the trader, right? So now we have 4k. Do we bite the bullet and sell another one? Yeah, let's sell another one. And Sendo. So, okay, he's not necessarily good at uh, building and laboring and whatnot, but again, he's not going to cost us money uh, for, like, maintenance. So that's really, really cool. Plus, eventually, we will get him, uh, we'll get him, like, a, a f what's it called? Skeleton repair bed. Um, okay, why not? Let's make it really tiny. Okay, I like it. Cool. His name is Scratch. Uh, I forgot to give him a different name. Whatever. See, he does have that little backpack on. That's very cool. And then he has that, and he has that. Awesome. So, we're going to send Sendo back home, as well as Scratch. Both are going to go back to the base. All right, Delta is done here. And let's bring Delta all the way back to the boys here. Sendo. Alright, let's see. Let's actually put in some storage. I believe we researched storage already. Yes. And we need to do... Where's the copper? Storage. Copper. Awesome. Okay, so we're just going to do some 
some copper mining. I love the building elements of this game. Kenshi's super interesting, in my opinion, because it's actually, like, like the only game that lets you do that the way that I like to. That sucks. I think we just missed, like, all of the trading today. Yeah, we missed everything. So that sucks. But you, Scratch. To work, buddy. Delta. Making great time, I think. Heading back across the, uh, you know, the whole border zone here. Um, I think we want to go to AdMag, which, if I recall, is up here. With, like, the whole crew, though. And I know that there's a Shek Ruin here there. So we can go there and try to find some cheapo loot and try to improve our situation a little bit. But yeah, I have ideas of how I want to edit. Um, I found a program I think I might try to use. It's, uh, I believe it's called Olive. Hey guys, Editing Funk here, just checking in. I just said in this clip that I used the program Olive for my editor, which is true for just episode one. In episode one, I did use Olive, but every episode, episode two onward, I have used DaVinci Resolve. I think DaVinci Resolve is a better software. I was having issues with Olive. I was having a weird texture issue, like once I got past 35 minutes of recorded MP4 file, it would uh, just turn black, like the, the whole texture and the audio would still work, but not the texture. So I don't know. I posted it on the Reddit. Nobody had any idea. So switched over to DaVinci Resolve. Highly recommend, which is like a free program. Um, it's pretty highly rated, and I found another YouTube channel. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but if I do eventually get to editing this stuff and it makes its way to YouTube, in this video I'll try to put a link in the description to the guy that I'm following because he has a bunch of uh, playlists set up of like how to do it and like how to edit. Those ruins up there, I believe those are like Shek ruins. So we're going to go there and we're going to try to, you know, make some stuff happen. Also, pretty soon we're going to have the home people. We're going to have the ability for them to uh, make those, that copper storage. Discovered AdMag. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm actually just going to take everybody over here. Let's just, let's just get everything we can. Huge cleaver. Okay, it's a thousand, so that's very much worth it. Also, that kind of looks like the Zabuza. Uh, I have a mod in that's going to have... Oh, is that the one I'm thinking it is? Yeah, that's so cool. Okay, so I have a couple mods in here, obviously. One of them being a mod to add Zabuza from Naruto. I'm a big Naruto fan. I don't know if you've noticed yet. Uh, add in Zabuza's sword, because I think it's just like one of the coolest swords in the world. So that was an awesome like no-brainer for me. Okay, let's... Over here? Oh, perfect. <laughs> I'm in danger! Alrighty then. We're gonna get you inside. Sendo. We're gonna sendo. Boom. <laughs> you over here to purchase some more stuff for us. So Sendo, let's get you in here, buddy. Let's get, let's do business. We just need a single plate, which we should be able to get. Right there, do we have enough inventory? We do, okay. So now, let's head on back. And we have Scratch going out here because there are bandits fighting. They're the ones that were attacking us. They should all get knocked out pretty handily by, uh, oh, vagrants. They should all get knocked out pretty easily by the samurai guards here. And that means free loot for us. We're going to head back into town. We're going to go to the bar. We're going to make a sale oh yeah show me what you've got sell 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 what is he actually good at uh not necessarily good at anything boom roasted he does have a bonus 
two blunt weapons, which is like a spike club, so maybe we'll keep a spike club. Oh, uh, is there a cheap one? That's a cheap one, huh? Okay. Prepare yourself. We're gonna actually set it so you are so you'll mine till you can haul. So four three, it's okay. Yeah, we're gonna put this on Don. Do we want him to go with that giant sword? It's so heavy. Is it actually stronger than uh, Delta's or Delta's the fragment actually holding? Because that is his previous weapon. Okay, cutting damage. I mean, the cutting damage is way higher, so that's cool. The blunt damage is a little lower, but that doesn't really matter too much for me. Blood loss, I believe, is exactly the same. Uh, obviously, the weight is a huge, huge difference. But look at the damage it does extra. It does extra versus, like, raptors and leviathans. So that's not necessarily something I'm in love with. The indoor penalty is way higher, and the defense penalty is obviously worse. But, it's cool as hell. And I think that's really, that's that's really the defining choice here, is that it's very cool. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Heart is going to come over. Delta, Delta's going to stay, but Delta, yeah, so we're actually just going to send these two. Okay, good luck, boys. Show us, huh? Okay, Delta. We're going to immediately kill these guys. Oh man. Was not really that worth, huh? Okay, Art. Take all of these. All these, all these, all these, all these, all these, all these. Wow. It's massive. Massive amounts of loot here. For us, that's so cool. Hmm. This is like, we don't need this here. We definitely don't need this in here. Why was that not stacking? Can that stack? Oh no, why can that not stack? Okay, whatever. Single piece of meat. Put that over there. Cool. Wow, we have so much loot here. He could take even more. So he should be just absolutely brutally training his strength, and he is, which is so nice because we need to get way stronger. I wonder if we should even, uh, I wonder if we should just do some laps here. Nice. We could put them in the Shinobi Thieves' beds. A lot of them need to heal. Maul and the rest of the squad are now making their way to the. Shinobi Thieves Tower. And, uh... Get them in here. Let's make some... Uh... Make some sales. Okay. Dawn. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell, 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 sell that book for now, sell these, I guess he can stay with the repair kits, this man oh man is that worth some decent money for us, sell, 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 
cool. Or Delta. Hmm. That's a really good loot for us. Let's actually have him trade with Art. Let's just give Art all of this food. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, Don. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, fog mask. That could be something we want for sure, a fog mask. The Senju scroll, which I think is different than... Yeah, he has a sage scroll, right? Well, that's pretty cool. What does that look like? Hmm, I don't care enough to find out. Oh, okay, that is a cool... So that's something we definitely want there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we definitely want that. That's very cool that we found that already. Um, so that's like a deep pocket. That's just like extra storage space that we give a guy. So let's just give that to Delta because why not? Actually, we're going to give that to Maul. Because Maul is actually our thief. Our, he's technically our thief. I mean, we're not doing much stealing, but uh, technically thief. So nobody else can wear boots here. Okay. What about black leather pants? I think that's worse. Oh, that might be better than what we have currently. 9 and 12. 19 and 9. Hmm. It's like on paper it's a little bit better, but I don't really think it's much better for us because it doesn't necessarily help us with what we're doing currently. Hmm. Fog mask is definitely interesting. I don't think I'm going to purchase it though. That's a different hooded cloak than we're wearing here, isn't it? What is the difference? Ooh. Hmm, interesting. Five and five. Okay, so this one's better for resistance, so we're gonna keep it on him. But... Oh, that's a shame he can't wear it. Maybe we give it to to Brock? Yeah, we can give it to Brock. And that'll help Brock as far as giving him a little coverage. Hmm. I think that's all for what we're purchasing currently. Yeah, there's not much else we can do right now. So let's get these guys upstairs. Because again, I believe there are beds up here. There are... So Maul needs it. You need it. Art needs it. Delta, hang out, buddy. And I am going to cut here until after we run around for a while. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to head back to the Shek ruins, primarily because I would love to get Don a big old inventory full of stuff that he can uh, carry around. Oh, also, let's get this over to Brock. Brock looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Don, I want to fill his Thieves backpack up with stuff. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's fine. We'll figure it out as we go. Wow. This is encumbrance. Uh, awesome. That's a heavy, heavy set of stuff he's got on him. Okay. So now you, you, and you... Actually, yeah, let's just take everybody. Crew back up in the center. Do we all have food? We do all have food. Yeah, 
take this off for art or for dawn again let's go fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! okay so uh a <laughs> bunch of stuff happened i wasn't paying attention per se to these guys out here um i was a little busy making some stuff in our base um, so I'll go and show you that in a second, but while I was not paying attention, Don actually got attacked by some skin spiders, or whatever they're called, and really got messed up pretty badly. So, uh, yeah. Had to, as Gurg is our fastest guy, I took him, and I ran him over to, uh, to get him. Luckily I was able to get there in time. And yeah. See, so he is all good now. Looks like the shinobi thieves are actually gonna help me. So that's cool. I'm gonna help Gurg. But yeah, he was he was really messed up. He was getting eaten alive. Uh, so not great. Maybe we're done training uh, strength for now because we almost got our boys killed. So not great is what I'm gonna say to that. Um, Art is stupid slow right now because he has all of Gurg's stuff on him. Does anybody have anything that we should be selling? Hmm. What is your strength at right now? Eh, it's at 37. It's not terrible. Let's just let's just call it a day for that kind of training. And let's sell all of our junk off. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. Like that. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Awesome. Now we're going to go to Gerg, who's going to sell that. We're going to go to Art, who has a ton of stuff on him as well, mainly from Gerg. Okay. Rock, Don. Oh, Don had to drop all his stuff as well. Hmm, who is my fastest? I think it's Gerg still. Let's see if we can actually find out where that was. I think it was like right there. Hmm. Is it over here? No. Yeah, so that's really terrible because we lost a lot of stuff there. A few moments later. Man, that's a real shame if we lost. A great success! All that loot. Oh, no, it's right there! Oh, that's so lucky! Okay. Awesome. Now let's head back. That's so great for us. Where is this shinobi trader? That's him right there. I think I have something to trade. Pretty much everything is what we're trading here. Just a very cool weapon here as well. Very cool. Right, that's everything? That's definitely everything. Okay. Ooh. No, that's not worth. But. Let's see if we can actually get Maul a little better of a bag. It's not going to help him like this Thieves one is, but I think it's going to be more overall inventory space, right? No. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's the Shinobi D pockets. Yeah. Okay. So that is a little bit more. You're actually going to sleep as well as you were pretty hurt in the rescue mission. Alright, let's swing back over to the home. Hello, MTV Crib viewers. It is I. Sendo. This is my house. Let's see what we're up to. So. Wow, did he finish all of them? Okay, so just to give us some where we're at. 
We have lights now, three lights, not too crazy, a general storage chest, a oven, an oven right here. This, where we have our training weapons, which is very nice. So we have two training katanas. Oh, we have a regular katana as well. Oh, because for some reason he decided to... I don't understand that at all. He decided to put the training katana away. Or he, he put his regular katana away and kept the training katana. Don't know why. Um, okay, so we have a heavy weapons, a hacker. So we're going to need still... Uh, training binds which is going to I don't know who knows training binds um, anything else no I think that's everything yeah that's actually everything uh, scratch is out there still just absolutely grinding away getting us a ton of uh, copper which is nice to supplement our income here sendo is actually probably going to take this over and trade really quickly because why not spend some money I would love to get that scout leg that's here this one the specialist or the masterwork scout very cool we could definitely get that and that would go to our buddy uh, art art needs a leg well he has a leg but we get him a better leg I think we definitely should yeah, and whenever Sendo is not actively crafting something, he's just going to be training, because why not? You know, he can do it. Um, we should actually get him researching again, because that would actually be more worth his time. He's not going to ever be a fighter. Oh, no, they just closed it. Okay, whatever. Um, we still would like to learn research for some sort of uh, bed. I would love it if we have some beds here. That would be really cool. Cool. So, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to go get some food and maybe come back later. Cool.